So much time, so much work. Yeah, it's done. We're ready. We're back with more Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy VI. This is part 17. And if you're wondering, yes, I grinded. And grinded a lot. I kid you not. Do you want to know the best part? I finally got the Celestriat. Yeah, it wasn't easy because you have to get it with the Brachiosaur. And if but you're able to get it, it's going to make things a lot easier. And I end up choosing, of all people, yeah, Terra. Yeah, because I'm still working on the Curse Shield. But I don't think I'm going to be able to make it the Paladin Shield. And I'm going to need her for the final battle. However, I will say that it's come to this, apparently. It's come to this. We're finally ready to tackle the one place that remains. Yeah, the tower. Kafka's tower. That's all that remains in order for us to reach the end. But before that, though, I need to restock on everything I've got. Especially my sleeping bags and my tents. Good. And no, I'm not selling off that. I'm not selling off- I'm not gonna give up my Mega Elixir. The time has come at last. We're now ready to head into the tower itself. It's the only place that's left. The time has come. All right, we're going in. It's time we took the battle to Kefka's doorstep. What's wrong? Celeste? The gods of the Warring Triad control the magic of the Esper world. If we destroy them... You're worried about what might happen? I can't say for sure, but... Espers, and even magic itself, could vanish from this world. And if that happens... What'll happen to Terra? Not the easiest decision to make, but a necessary decision. Time to form our party of three. And we're gonna need them for this job. Yep, these three are what matter. These three parties are what matter. We're not bringing Umaro or Gogo. Because they're not needed for this. The Warring Triad awaits. Press the ZL button to switch between the three parties. We've arrived in Kefka's tower. And we're going to need all the strength we can get. Yes, I'm making sure they all get their items for this job. And Mog, you're the Dragoon of our party, so you're going to be the one with the Dragon Boots and the Dragon Horn. Shadow has his Memento Ring. Do what needs to be done.
I will focus on all offense. Maltzessor has his gear. Yes, we're going through each one by one. Let him have the sniper eye. Let him use the earrings to unleash even more power. Okay, we're all set. The time has come. Let us begin. And there are going to be a lot of enemies here. And yeah. Yeah, since Terra has the Celestriad, she can basically, well, use it one. Summon as much at magic as she wants. And what cost them one MP? Yeah, that's gonna help us out. Still hoping that I can be able to get it. Nice, we get the Hypno Crown. Too many to count, not a lot of time. We're just gonna wipe them through. Yeah, and I'm bringing Sign along because he needs his max strength. leads us here. Very good. We gain fixed dice. That's going to be good for Setzer. All right, that's as far as we can go. Now it's Locke's turn. Let him use Raiden. That if we're here. Give him bomb wood. Pressing onwards. Ooh, primeval dragons. I don't know if his magic is that good, but still. Still hits hard, though. We obtained the Minerva Buster. Yeah, let's give it to Terra. It provides a 25% bonus to maximum MP. Eh, we'll let her wear it. Having more MP means she can spam Ultima. And this... Wait, what? What's this? 
Oh, don't tell me I'm gonna fight this boss early. If I am, dear God, we're in for hell. You know what? Screw it. We're doing it anyway. I am the one known as Ultima. Forged an eternity ago. I was placed here. And then forgotten in the midst of time. Long have I pondered what I should do. Long, long have I pondered. But now it seems I have an answer. This must be its evolved form of ultimate weapon. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Libra, level 67, 55,000 HP, 1,900,000 MP, no weaknesses. Ooh, we stole the Blood Sword. No, no, we'll use Stray Cat for this one, because it's that effective. Like that, like that. It hits like 9,999 damage. Oh dear, he has the Holy Lance, I forgot. And Holy Lance heals him. On second thought, you're not gonna be using anything. Yeah, we'll stick with flare attacks. And while this happens, we're just gonna drain you dry with Osmos. Oh, Northern Cross! Immune! Yeah, this'll hurt. Yeah, you need to hit them with fire damage so that way they can return back to normal. Yeah, we'll be taking your MP now, thank you. Yeah, I call it stealing. Meteor! Oh, yikes! Yeah, gal, just keep on using Cat Scratch and the fight's over. That's all there is. I did not expect to fight Ultima Buster this soon. But, hey. Yeah, this is also the same cell that Kefka was in. No. Yeah, because I don't want to lose all my hard work. That would really suck if it did. Oh goody, these are movers. How you like getting ultimates? And they don't give you much in terms of MP. We're AP. Which in Final Fantasy V, they reward a whopping 199. Ooh. This gives us the pinwheel. Okay, so we're now back here then. All right, good. More enemies. Ain't that nice. Yeah, now you're dead. Not Celeste.
An eye for an eye leaves everyone blind. Not cool. More enemies. A mud sight. Yikes, Gigavolt. Yeah, much of this place is from the, like the Magitek Research Facility. Yeah, Stray Cat's your go-to. We obtain a Force Shield. Not yet. Nice, another force armor. Ah, greetings. We get a ribbon. Now metal hitmen. Yeah, a whole bunch of new enemies were fighting. Discord. That got nuts. We'll check up on the third later. Yep, we're back at the exact same place. That'll wipe them out fast. Yeah, they didn't take long. And we're about to face the first of many threats. Well, that's as far as we can go now. Back with Locke. Now let's head this way. Our goody, another legendary dragon. Let's go. Yep, there are two dragons left. This is one of them. The gold dragon. This one loves to spam electric attacks. I have my own strategy of doing that. All right, time to begin analysis. Level 62, 32,400 HP, 4,000 MP, vulnerable to water. Nothing to steal, huh? Pity. Yeah, we'll just let Mog rip them apart now. Yeah, goodbye. Gold Dragon ain't that hard if you leveled up properly. Plus, would everyone have a magic and powerful skills? Even Stray Cat is a deadly weapon. Very good. We gain a Crystal Orb. One dragon left, and it's in this tower. But in the meantime, we got an item. The Crystal Orb. A power boost maximum MP by 50%. Yikes. Ah, 
Ah, yeah, the Dark Force. This guy has a plethora of powerful ma blue magic you can have him with that straggle learn. But I do not have time for that. It's time for you to die. I've always hated these tactics. Eye for an eye leaves everyone blind. Let's continue. Yeah, this must be where Vector is at. Well, not much we can do here. We'll have to wait. In the meantime, time to deal with Realm. Shadow will get Ketzeli. You'll have Kate Sith. And Setzer. You'll have Katoa Pus. Not to mention, Setzer has access now to the fixed dice. The trio of dice that deal more damage the higher number they kill. Not great. I'll stick with I'll stick with the Death Tarot. Cards they may cast death upon striking an enemy. Nice, we got a red cap. Put a lot of, I put a lot of training into this. Oh, there's a save point here. We obtained the Nutkin suit. Is it for an oversized squirrel costume? Eh, not that great. And we obtained the gauntlet. Gamma. Get yourself back up. A gravity bomb. Oh, wow. Yikes, atomic rays! Oh, that wasn't so bad. But it was worth it. That wasn't the way we're supposed to go. Now we head in here. And we obtain the hero's ring. That this has us head further. We were here. Yeah, but let's see where this leads. Right back out. Huh? 
Huh? Who's this? Ketsu Rahu and an Inferno. Alright, let's do a little bit of water scrolling. Alright, let's see what this will do us. Libra Analysis. Level 67. 30,800 HP, 9,700 MP. Vulnerable to lightning. Not a bad idea. Lush Shadow has gear that can absorb elemental attacks. Here, have some pocket change. Delta attack! Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, take him down. Oh no, Meteor! Yeah, focus on the source. You missed again. Oh yeah, he absorbs thunder attacks. Yeah, goodbye. That deals with that. I see. Yet another Mega Elixir. What's this? Ah. And we obtain the Rainbow Brush for Realm. A paintbrush with a beautifully patterned handle. Alright, we still got that move out of the way. Now let's keep moving. And now we deal with the other dragon. Let's go. The final of the last of the legendary dragons. The Skull Dragon. Anyways, no time. Be right back. Sorry about that family call. Let's continue. Yeah, thanks for that. Anyway, let's study up on our enemy. Begin Libra analysis. Okay, so the Skull Dragon's level 62, 32,800 HP, 1999 HP, vulnerable to holy energy, and fire. Okay. Oh dear, we might have to put re-rays on these guys. Hmm, I wonder if we can put a phoenix down on him. No, no, I'm just doing this for the lulz. Don't worry, they're coming back. Oh, disaster.
Oh yeah, shadows protected from X. Shadows protected. I forgot. Oh yeah, let's convert him to imp status now. Yeah, happier bat than normal. Apparition? Oh, yikes. Thank God for that. Yeah, Shadow has the Memento Ring. As long as he has that, then you're basically immune. Oh wait, so it doesn't work, huh? Okay. Yeah, he also has access to Rask. Yeah, I just spam fire and holy magic. Yeah, that's that. Not a hard fight, it's just that the status inflictions are annoying. Annoying as all hell. Very good. We also obtained the Muscle Belt. And with all eight legendary dragons defeated, the Eightfold Seal is broken. And we obtain the Crusader Magicite. Now you wonder what this Magicite is for, huh? Well, I'll show you. Crusader teaches both Meltdown and Meteor. Meteor. But it also has the Cleansing, which damages everyone. It doesn't matter who's in its way, you will get wiped. Now, what about the other party? Yep, we forgot about these guys. Another pinwheel for our efforts. It's going to take a long time for me to purify that shield. Now it's time we enter here. All right, we push that down. Very nice, Saban's now 56, and his magic's through the roof. Yeah, we all know why we're doing this. Yep, we did it. Wait a minute. We also have that the switch below. Now we can do this. New enemies, the Daedalus. Yeah, I'm just speeding this up because screw it, we're doing it my way now. And 
Still no purifying the Cursed Shield. Now we face off against the first of the three of the Warring Triad. And honestly, though, I'm not going to be able to max out this shield. No way. So instead, I'm giving her the Force Shield. And I'm also giving her the Soul of Thamasa. Now this makes her really busted. And you're about to see just how busted it gets. The Warring Triad. We know all about them in Final Fantasy VI. Or rather, they would make appearances in later games. And yeah, the three creatures that we know here. They are known as Sephiroth, Sophia, and Zervan. Who's up first? We face off against Sephiroth, the Fiend. You start the fight off with an absolute zero? That is so like you. That's alright. Because I always find a way to get what I need. Let's go. Libra Analysis. Level 73, 63,000 HP, 4,800 MP, vulnerable to holy. Fine, unleash the air anchor. You want to see something disgusting? Just watch. It didn't work. Fine, we'll just we'll just drill it. Yeah, drill Pierce's defense. Now watch what real destruction is like. Fiend's aura is trembling violently. Wait, did... Oh, never mind. Oh, I see. In that case, we better hurry. Oh, that is... Yep. And now it activates a force field. Now immune to Earth. Fine, let me find a way to dispel it then. Better yet, no, let's float. Now immune to poison. Just in case, you never know. Ah, oh, God, finally got to hit it. And thus, one of the three of the Warring Triad falls. The Fiend Sephiroth is no more. We obtain the Mutsuno Kami. And we get a save point for our efforts. Couldn't agree more on that one. Time to venture further. Yep. Now it's their turn. Now we fight the second of the legendary trinity. 
This is the goddess, Sophia. Oh, we steal a Minerva Buster. Nice. Okay, Libra, level 68, 44,000 HP, 19,000 MP, no weaknesses. In that case, then we'll just strike at it. While trying to survive. Yeah, let's see. Oh, I forgot he absorbs holy attacks. This one absorbs holy. That sucks. Fine, bring forth a Requiem. Nuts, dance failed. Yeah, how do you stumble? Oh, wait, no, I'm not worried. Oh, jeez, flash rain. Here, eat a cave-in. And thus, the goddess falls. We obtain Excalibur. This one also gives us a save. And for the sake of it, let's use our sleeping bags. Yeah, let's tear our head back. Good, we can use that to rest up. Now for the last one. The Guardian. Activating default battle program. Not impressed. Level 67. 60,000 HP, 5200 MP. Vulnerable to water and vulnerable to lightning. Good. Let's use Thundag on this guy. Mighty Guard! Oh, that's gonna be very useful. Yeah, I just spam Thundaga, the fight's over. Aqua Breath also works too, but I prefer Destructive Power. Eat shurikens. Floating battle program. Ultros. Yeah, that means no difference. You're dead.
Nice. Set Strago learned Mighty Guard and Shadow learned Meteor. So much for that hunk of junk. Okay. Wait, what's this? Wait a sec. Oh, uh, yeah. Activate bad breath. Now that's very nice. Strago learned bad breath. And leveled up too. That's why having Realm is so useful. And now we face the third and last of the Warring Triad. The Demon, Zervon. And starts to fight off with a metal cutter. Okay, analysis. Level 67. 58,000 HP, 18,900 MP. Vulnerable to poison. Yeah, that's not effective. But this certainly is. Yeah, but our magic isn't going to be that strong. Wait, what? Ah, uh, who am I kidding? We have our own tactics. This game is so bloody easy that you could basically improvise and come up with whatever tactics you want. Nothing stopping you. It is considered the easiest of all the Final Fantasy games for a reason. Yeah, you just use poison on it. What, you thought that was effective? You wish. Here, eat meteors. And I'm gonna hit my wind button. Now it activates a wave cannon! Oh, yikes. Uh, that was not effective. Eat this. You're done. And thus the last of the Warring Triad is no more. Sephiroth, Sophia, Zervon, all gone. And we obtain a Radiant Lance. But this brings up a theory. We destroyed the Warring Triad, but the power of magic isn't fading like it should be. Could kept. Kefka have extracted the very source of magic from them? It's a possibility, no doubt. It is a possibility. Ain't that... Ain't that peachy. Without a doubt, it is peachy. Yeah, we're giving you the Radiant Lance. As much as I appreciate that. It's time we give you, make you the Dragoon. Yep, that is it for this part of Final Fantasy VI. 
Next part is the final episode. We're finally gonna see this journey through. If you enjoyed this, like, comment, share, subscribe, and click that bell. I will see you at the end of this journey. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out. Product provided by Square Enix.